All right, meteorologist Sam Copland here on J Street in Schenectady. This is a spot that's a great way to support the people of Schenectady. A lot of mom and pop owned businesses and restaurants, Simone's Kitchen, the Whistle and Kettle, and just a lot of fun business antique shops to shop in. So we'll take a look outside on our Fryhofer Sky Cam. We have State Street on the other end of J Street, and actually that's right where we have our Fryhofer Sky Cam. 82 degrees in Schenectady. We're somewhere down there mixed in between the buildings. Here's a look at the satellite right now. Clouds are certainly mixing in with the sun, but notice there's no rain anywhere around our area, and it's going to stay that way throughout much of the afternoon. One front is right overhead, but that's, again, not leading to any showers. It's a wave of low pressure that's way off towards the south and west, back towards Ohio, that's going to bring in the rain tonight. If you remember a few days ago, we were talking about this potentially moving in this afternoon, but the, prog the progression has really slowed down, so it's not going to be here until this evening. I think we're going to get through many, most of the daylight hours just completely dry. It's a classic summer day outside, 86 in Saratoga, 84 Albany, a little bit milder off towards the south in Hudson at 88. And dew points range from the low to mid 50s where it feels very pleasant, no pun intended, in Lake Pleasant, to 70 in Chatham. So you go off towards the north today, a little bit more of a comfortable feel off towards the south below that boundary. It's a stickier, more July-like feel outside. Notice though today, sun mixing with the clouds were dry throughout the daylight hours and then really like clockwork once the sun sets i think that's when the weather starts to go more downhill showers increasing in coverage and intensity so notice four o'clock this afternoon warmer off towards the south a little bit cooler off towards the north but we're dry essentially across the entire area then after we get past eight nine o'clock rain moves in from southwest to northeast and notice especially south of i-90 there could be some embedded downpours even some rumbles of thunder and i can't rule out a stronger or severe storm places like columbia county Dult duchess and ulster the main threat with these would be some strong to even potentially damaging winds but i think that risk is probably a little bit further off towards the south this is again fairly progressive so there can be some downpours but i'm not too concerned about any sort of flash flooding because this will be out of here by three four o'clock in the morning and what that means is we're going to start tomorrow with clouds yes but we're going to be dry once the sun peaks up tomorrow here's the total amount of rainfall notice as you get further off towards the south we see higher amounts as you get further off towards the north, it's less. So it's, say, a quarter of an inch to maybe a half an inch right around the capital region. We could be talking upwards of an inch locally off towards the south, places like the Catskills down through the Mid-Hudson Valley. And tomorrow is a gem of a day. Humidity surges a little bit today, but it's any humidity that we had today is going to be gone by tomorrow. Very comfortable. We'll just be contending with a breeze, but that probably just aids in the very pleasant feel of tomorrow. So it's 75 to 80 tomorrow. Afternoon sun after there's a few more morning clouds. Friday, I throw this term out a little bit too often, but I think it is a top 10 day. Beautiful. We'll have a light wind with high pressure right overhead. And then we have another down moving in as we continue this stretch of some ups and downs this weekend. Looks like it's going to turn more unsettled, especially Saturday afternoon upper 70s to low 80s. So it's a lot of back and forth with the rain chances. Uh, low rain chances tomorrow and Friday and then Saturday and Sunday will bring those chances up. So this afternoon, 85 to 90. Warm and a bit muggy. Tonight we'll see those rain chances rise, especially off towards the south where there can be a few downpours. Here is tomorrow. A very nice day in store. 75 to 80 degrees. Breezy outside and tomorrow night. How about this? Upper 40s to low 50s. A cool night and a lovely day on Friday before we turn more unsettled once again for the weekend. But I think we get back to comfortable weather, Amani, by early next week.